visiting my old friends, Dr. Raju and Catherine the Great of Scotland, in their palatial home. I always enjoy visiting them. They are superb hosts, and on this delightful spring morning, I am experience what I call a good-to-be-alive moment. As the morning sunshine says hello, and gently removes the early nip in the air. When visiting Varanasi, we usually rise early to be on the banks of the Ganges when the sun emerges from its slumber to energize another day. But as we have to fly to the Punjab this afternoon, we decided to have a leisurely morning. I'm using my recently acquired 360 camera which allows me to shoot everything at once, so to speak, in, out, up, down, backwards and forwards, simply by attaching the camera to a custom monopod, not unlike a selfie stick, that allows me to hold it inside or outside of the car. First we get to experience the joys of Indian traffic, people running across the road, driving the wrong way against the traffic and creating three lanes out of two. And yes, we were just overtaken by a bicycle. Pedestrians walking in the middle of a busy street Seeing is believing. The cacophony of sound only adding to the experience. Why walk on the pavement when you can walk down the middle of a busy street? I'd heard that people came here to die, but I thought it was because they were old. For many people, these are unusual sights. But this is India, and it's quite unlike any other place on Earth. So you'll see strange modes of transport, and even stranger things happening. The gate is not India Gate, it's the BHU Gate. We took a shortcut through the Banaras Hindu University. In India, the occasional holy cow is a common sight. We soon reach the Ganges. I think the best way to enjoy the experience is from the river, but multitudes of people come here for a variety of reasons. It's a scenic place, a historical place, a spiritual place, I love boat trips, and I'm really looking forward to this. Surveying legendary Varanasi from the Ganges. Setting eyes on dozens of iconic buildings, the Ghats, and enjoying seeing Raju and Catherine again. The 360 camera enabling me to get unusual shots. Behind the mask is Rebecca. Varanasi was once known as Kashi, City of Life. It's one of the world's oldest continually inhabited cities.
pilgrims come to the Ghats to wash away a lifetime of sins in the sacred waters. Many come to cremate their loved ones. Many actually come here to die. And older people in a poor state of health can be seen around the city waiting to die as it were, as they believe dying here offers liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Maybe the Ghats are the Hindu version of Stairway to Heaven. It certainly is a different place. On the river, River Ganges, at Varanasi, on a beautiful day. You'd really be surprised how many beautiful days I get on my travels. I want to get the shots that are unmistakably Varanasi and nowhere else on earth. And we're coming to that place. The Ghats or Steps. We'll now get off the boat and walk through the city. At this point, Raju is asking me if I have a hundred rupees on me. That's a dollar fifty US. You have a hundred rupees on you? I don't know if that was the cost of the boat or just that he was a hundred rupees short. But he said it's cheaper than a gondola in Venice. To which I replied, our airfare here from New Delhi was cheaper than taking a gondola in Venice. Time for a walk through the fascinating streets. Last shots of the river. Rebecca is taking the 360 for me. Samosa, anyone? Or a gulab jamun? They've repainted this and have done a really good job.
time to reflect on a great day. Great views from the top of the steps. Rebecca doing a great job with the 360. Not a selfie stick in sight. I actually took a selfie myself. I love that 360 camera. It shoots stabilized 360 degrees by stitching two 180 degree shots together. The camera cannot see the stick, so it disappears. You can see Rebecca shooting with it here. Her shots are great. A quick motor rickshaw back to the car. Thank you, Catherine and Raju, for taking the time once more to show us your city. We had a wonderful time.